Hello you cats with hands, Jim Sterling here and this is Harold. It's a game that is about a dude with a thing and stuff, so let's go right on it, shall we? Races, look. So, as usual, we will eschew learning much about the game, but we start with level one, Harold Instruction, so that'll teach us it, because it's mandatory. Let's go. Before oh, the obstacle blimey. course races yeah. can commence, the runner's roulette must match each mortal runner with a guardian angel in training as a kind of kindred spirit. Gabe eagerly awaits the selection of his runner. So and you're a guardian angel. A true champion. A, um, uh, uh, um. Gabe appeals to guardian school director Professor Enoch who insists that the runner's roulette never makes mistakes and that this new runner, Harold, is a new challenge that will teach Gabe that raw talent, hard work, and a humble heart are what makes a guardian angel truly great. Gabe insists okay. that he's the most humble and Professor Enoch insists that they'd better get that humble heart rate up by trying a practice course. So yes, you're a guardian angel looking after runners, basically, in a race. And that's what you do. From what I saw on a little bit of the trailer that I witnessed, um, you control the environment to get the runner around. Harold, he won't stop running, so we'd better get started. Okay, let's Press go for it. Jump to help Harold get over that hole. Try again. Oh, well, I'll, I'll... well there we go. That's a bit better. I fucked up already, but let's go for it. Harold on and off that rope. So yeah, he's running automatically, like, you know, one of those mobile runner games. Let's practice your jumping skills on a few obstacle zones. That's the spirit. Keep going, Guardian. But it's got a nice sort of cartoony visual style to it, and it does get quite complicated for from again what little I saw. This is made with Unity. This is another one of those games that you can see how powerful and good Unity can be when people put the effort in. You know, this is really nice cartoon visuals. Each one Herald collects will charge up your puff powers. I love puff powers. I don't know what they are. Stop saying puff power, that's just weird now. An old man shouldn't be saying puff power. A whole puff power puts him back in the race. But you can also use a whole puff power to encourage Herald. Try it now. Okay. Shocking. Now let's try that again with a jump. Okay. Be aware that when Harold grabs a rope, the puff power is cancelled. You need to use a that didn't puff power work to make this jump, pupil. Don't stop now. Okay, I've got the hang of it. Combination ahead. Again, Fucking hell. I don't quite have a feel for his jumps. Oh, you will love this there we go, that's... Jump at the edge of the ramp. <laughs> Good race, Guardian. Looks like you're ready to learn how to manipulate obstacles. I guess. So I really need to estimate that jump better, because he doesn't... It's, he doesn't quite jump like a Belmont, but he doesn't... I give his range more credit than it has. So... Fantastic Guardian. Let's try with Jungle Here One. Next assignment. Just minutes after Gabe completes the practice course, Raziel and his daughter Sarah show up for their own practice session. Sarah feels oh, confident no. and mocks the inferiority of Gabe's runner, Harold. His competitive instinct kicking right in, Gabe declares he has never been defeated and never will be. Gabe is more determined than ever to beat Sarah, even if he must do something he swore he would never do. Study. Mm -hmm. I think this game is for children. Welcome, That's Guardian. fine. To access each race, you must guide Harold safely. I buy toys off Amazon, so I'm the one to judge. Here Let's continue. Go. Okay. Your first obstacle is that wall. Flick right to damage the wall. 
Continue hitting the splendid student. But let's try that again. This time, try to break the wall before Harold runs into it. You see okay. those stars? Collect them all for an added advantage in the race. Well, as we can see, things are getting uh, a little more complex. Hey! That fucking thing didn't fucking disappear. But that, that, uh, fuck. Okay, now this is really starting to look more like a mobile game now. Move left and right to control the platform. When you are done practicing, help Harold across that hole. Oops. I was too busy looking at the stars. I don't know why it disappears so quickly. Oh, then we over moved it. I'll get the hang of this children's game in a minute. There we go. If I actually concentrate, oh shit. I guess maybe I got a boost to get that one or something. I don't know. Fuck it. Now we'll do this. Multiple obstacles. Use the triggers. Great job, Guardian. I see. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, son. Oh fuck! I can't multitask for shit. There we go. And we got all three. And then I. Fucking did it again. Well, fucking hell. Move up and down <laughs> I'm the worst. The when you are ready, help Herald reach the high. Oh, I got it. There we go. It's all in the timing. It's all in the timing. Let's no, it's see not. if you can oh, remember all you have learned. Oh, move that down first. Oh. oh fuck! The wrong... It's... It makes your fucking... Uh, it makes your fingers go confused! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> it sucks so bad! That time. This is a bridge. Hold left until the bridge is pulled tight. Don't let go. Once it is completely tightened, quickly flick right to help Harold across. Well done. Now try it once oh, Harold has stumbled on. <laughs> Some platforms are connected and move together. Oh, Try Jesus. moving the master obstacle and watch how they all interact. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll this take it. Drawbridge. Rotate to raise or lower a drawbridge. Imagine doing this with a mouse and cable. No wonder they told you that. Because I got a review co uh, code for this one, actually, although I didn't. I was in the middle of a bunch of other things. And they said use a controller. No wonder. Anyway. I should have made him jump. Well, well. Again, I'll take it. This is a noose trap. For maximum results, carefully move you overcharge the trap and set it off. It's a delicate one. Right. Wait for it to reset and try to stop within the green zone. Wait for it. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. Okay. The jungles have crocodiles that can my my that was quite a reaction, but not what I was looking for. Let's try this. Quickly flick down several times to stun the crocodile. Well done. Wait for the crocodile to recover, then you can help Harold get past okay. him. Okay. Cool. Beat a crocodile to death. The end of the practice session. The next race has been unlocked. 
Now let's take everything that we've learned and fuck it up. Because I cannot do this game because I lack any kind of decent human coordination skills. But we'll try it anyway, Where shall we? So, we do this with other people now. This is going to be a humiliating experience for yours truly. Okay, get past this sod. Oh, what the hell? That was weird. Oh, I guess I could fuck them up by doing that kind of thing as well. Oh, fuck! I forgot about the shoulder thing. Oh, well. Just get the hell out of there. I'll catch up to that dude. The hell, bananas? Okay. We're almost past him. Aha! That's this lady. Oh, fuck. Too fast. Aha! Second place! Oh shit. Okay, we'll do it now. Oh fuck, what the hell? Oh dear. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, we're in second. Oh shit. Oh well. That was quite fun. So yeah, there's a lot to kind of think about, you know, between fucking them up and making sure your dude is doing all right for himself. Congratulations, Guardian. You... Do we do one more? Scold Sarah for her rope cutting interference. Raziel dismisses Enoch's disapproval as tiresome coddling and cites Article 17, Section 32, titled Interference Technique, as proof that such use of <clears throat> angel power is a okay. Well, we were doing it too, to be fair. Every shortcut has its price. Raziel congratulates Gabe on his drive to win as an attribute that, unfortunately, not everyone in the Malak family appears to possess. In the name of kinship and fairness, Raziel is going to help Gabe even the playing field by teaching him the secrets of interference. Mm-hmm. Harold. Listen up, my boy. I am going to teach you how to create interference to improve your rankings. Let's start with the wall. Wait until the runner mounts the wall and then destroy it. Hey, we already did that in the first race. It's fun. Did you see how your puff power increased? Every time you create interference to hinder an opponent, you gain really good animation. Same power as a wing ring. <laughs> Okay. Wait until a runner jumps before moving the platform out of their way. In my youth, I used to wait for them to step on it, then quickly yank it out from under them. <laughs> nice job, son. Interference is the key to keeping your puff powers charged. Drop the platform Good. while they are in the air and watch them fall. You can also pull it up just before they run on. Classic. It reminds me of my days as a student. Okay, there we go. Against opponents, okay. you must reverse how you charge up the bridge. 
Oh, Simply see. move right to charge and then quickly flick left to watch the runners panic. Give it a shot. No, oh, silly humans. You cannot escape our protection. Your opponents okay. will not stop to lower a drawbridge. Instead, they use the side planks to go around it. Quickly slam the drawbridge on the planks to shake them off. Here we go. Oh, pop. There we go. Okay, okay, you've got it. Don't waste too much time. I do have places to be. This one okay. is my favorite. The more you charge up the trap, the more times it slams them into the ground. Hmm. <laughs> Splendid. It's always fun using living things to create interference. Flick down living the things. To anger the crocodile. Don't hit them too many times, or they will get dizzy and flip over. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. ah, remember this? Now you will learn to do to Sarah what Sarah did to you. To cut according to the rule, ah. the rope will always be reset. So make sure to time your cut. Have at it, young one. Well done, son. You now have all you need to compensate for Harold's uselessness. I see great promise in you. Do not let me down. Okay. Let's go. Got a lot of complex things to worry about now. Fantastic guardian. I'm not going to race there. Blimey, I ain't got bloody day. I want to do one more regular race. Get how much greater Gabe's success is despite Harold's shortcoming. Raziel commends Gabe on qualifying for the first two races by embracing the interference technique and applauds Gabe's abilities, which are much more praiseworthy than those of his daughter, Sarah. Oh, that dude knows how to fuck his kids up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm gonna speed him up. Well, whatever, I'll take it. Okay, get the hang of things the now. Desert heat creates mirages that fantastic. You have revealed a drawbridge. Now huh. try it again on your own. I get down there. I guess it needs to keep rotating it. Oh well. That was an easy one. Oh fuck, I need to make him jump. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh fuck! Gotta make him jump! Oh shit, well... It's... A win is a win. <laughs> I'll take it. Where, where are we going? Oh, no, no. There we go, I had to fucking shoulder thing. Right. Okay, that's a pass. It'll do. Um, fuck, what am I doing with this? Oh, I've got to do that. That was... That confused me before I was trying to move it up. Uh. Nope. What the hell? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Why is it doing that? that? That's confusing me. I'm pressing the wrong thing. It makes the thing switch. Fuck it, I'm just going to get out of it. Because I am rubbish. That's it. That's 
suppose I can do ah there we go do that instead oh should have been quicker than that and then make them jump yes they don't go together there we go Okay, we'll call that a blend it there. You get the general idea. Uh, that's Harold. That's a quick look at Harold. I like it. That's kind of that's kind of well, nicely put together. Um, kind of a, a lot more involved spin on the whole endless runner style. I guess not endless, but the whole runner style game. So I like it. It's cute. It, I really like the animations of the characters. Uh, you know, the story is a bit new, but it's it's a little fun kiddie thing. Uh, so that's Harold. I don't dislike that at all. Well done. You get a little, get a little clap from me. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, good, good.